Domingo, ladies and gentlemen, eu quase que podia falar português. <risos> ok, o Alfai está-se a rir porque ele já fala um bocadinho. <risos> Okay, but I, I, I speak English, it's an international language, that's it. So I'm very proud to be here again, playing in the, in the Rui Cunha Foundation. We are tight forever, because they produced one of my records. <laughs> <laughs> so we are tight forever, like father and son, or whatever. So <laughs> thank you very much for this opportunity to play here, and I'm uh, once again in Macau, by the end of the Macau Jazz Promotion Association for doing this April workshop, <coughs> which uh, this year was uh, very interesting. Um, so, tonight will be the presentation of uh, some work we did, because we didn't bring the, the beginners, <laughs> because we had some beginners, really small ones. Uh, <laughs> 10 years, 11 years, yeah. So we just bring the, the tall guys, the, the old ones, <laughs> which are most of them you, you know uh, because they, uh, play, uh, they play here uh, regularly. So the first I would like to introduce this duo is m me and Mr. Marsley, that you also know him. And we play, we'll play some tunes for you and then we give uh, the passage to the next band. Thank you very much.
Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, the recording, the recording. I forgot. Yeah, I, the recording, because otherwise it will not be recorded. Okay. So now I'm somebody. Okay, so next tune is composed by Miles Davis from uh, the middle 50s. And it's uh, one of the first experiments in uh, jazz about mixing up uh, different uh, sounds from other, other cultures, apart from the, the ones that are in the, the origins of jazz. But this sound is a new, at the time it was a new sound because it's a mixing of some Spanish sounds together with jazz. This is called Nardis. <laughs>
Cool, so I take Mr. Mars and we go to play in the streets of Sevilla. <laughs> uh, you take the hat, you take the hat. So we play in, fr in, in front of the cathedral.
So now there is a, a bebop tune. That's okay for beautiful songs. Now we play a, a jazz tune uh, composed by, good question, uh, by Dizzy Gillespie, I think. It's called, well, it's from a record where there are the three uh, good friends. The only one alive still is, is Sonny Rollins. <laughs> the, the other ones are already jamming some other place in heaven. <laughs> yeah. They are waiting for Sonny to join them. But Sonny wants a, one, a couple of years more here. So he's almost 90 years old, Sonny Rollins. And uh, Dizzy Gillespie and Sonny Stitt are already there for some, some decades. Okay, for some decades. So <laughs> we play Eternal Triangle. I think it's a, they, they wrote the song this a, kind of a tribute for themselves because they, it was the Eternal Triangle. Thank you. 
Okay, now is the time for a beautiful jazz ballad composed by the great Thelonious Monk. It's called uh, Panonica. It's dedicated to the a Baroness from the Roth Rothschild family. That was, that was uh, the Panonica von something, 11, 12 names. And uh, she was living in the United States and she supported a lot of jazz musicians in the 50s and the 60s. So she has probably she's the lady that has more tunes with her name. So this uh, she supported especially Telonius Monk because Telonius was very crazy, and every time he had no money, every time he was sick, he he, he demanded uh, Panonica Rothschild, Rothschild, Rothschild. I don't know. What, it's a German name. <coughs> Uh, and he demanded, like Charlie Parker, uh, Charlie Parker died in her, in her suite in the Hilton in New York. So it was a problem <laughs> for, a, for a baroness to have a, a black jazz musician dying in his apartment in the suite, luxury suite in the Hilton Hotel in New York. I'm talking about 1955. Now things are a little different. <laughs> but at that time, was, and she was very courageous and she got the admiration of all the jazz musicians. So that's the reason she has a lot of songs with her name. She died in 80 something, 89, maybe three or four years after Thelonious Monk died. <laughs> so they never went married and somebody speculates that they had, they had a love affair. But Monk was married and she was formally married. Maybe that was only platonic love, I don't know. They are both there now, <laughs> they should know. <laughs>
to the end of the first uh, part of the show, after we have the nostalgia formation with the band. Uh, I'm remembering that last year we did a Cuban party. Back. But now we will be back with some uh, other, other things. The world is not only Cuba. Other things going on. Okay, so the last tune is a, a, a happy jazz song composed by the saxophonist Charles Lloyd, uh, which is called Sweet, uh, Sweet Georgia Fry. I would like to thank you very much, and Mr. Marsley on guitar. So, Sweet Georgia Fry, let's go.
Thank you very much. Now, now we have this uh, band coming on. Please. Intermission. Intermission, yes. Show? Yeah. Okay, so uh, now we have uh, the Macau Jazz Promotion All Star Band. Okay, so then Mars, Mars uh, introduced everybody later on. So I'm just saying two words about this. Hey, come on. Are you leaving the stage? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, we, we start uh, our, our concert, the second part, with uh, two uh, subjects. First is uh, we are playing two songs, compositions of a great uh, contemporary uh, American musician, saxophone player and a great composer. His name is Wayne Shorter. So we will start, we'll play uh, two tunes from Wayne Shorter. They are called Juju, first one, and uh, the second one is Black Nile. Okay, and after, they will play one composer that I love. I will talk about that later. We will play t four tunes of this composer, a German composer that between the wars, emigrated to the United States and started to write Broadway shows to make a living. I will talk that, about that later. Juju.
Okay, I forgot this tune. Yeah, we are playing one tune now before the composer I mentioned to you. To you. It's the next tune. Uh, <coughs> this is a well-known composition by Duke Ellington. One of the most known compositions ever. It's called Caravan.
Uh, okay, now I have two things that I must tell you. Two things. First thing, before I forget again, that uh, I brought with me, uh, no, not yet. <laughs> I brought with me a CD that I, I, I it was released very recently, uh, about one month ago. No, two months ago. Okay, which is uh, some uh, very old uh, ballroom and the so cultural association in, in Faro, in Algarve, called the Club Farens, which is a, has a very old uh, room, beautiful, with the uh, art, uh, art deco, beginning of, of uh, 20th century decoration uh, with some gambling old school gambling rooms, not activated anymore, but still there. And they invite me, the direction of this uh, cultural association invite me in uh, 2017 to have a, a jazz uh, concert monthly. And uh, this concert will be recorded for doing a CD. So the, 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 the plan was I should invite uh, different people that I like to play with uh, and uh, play in duo, trio, because they could not afford to play a lot of people. So I did, between 2017 and 2018, I did eight months, eight concerts. So I invited people I know, Portuguese jazz musicians of my age, or close to my age, which I know for a long time, and I admired their playing. Also, very young musicians that are outstanding now are playing very well. So this CD uh, has a, <laughs> has the, is an impossible CD because these musicians will never get all together in a, in a, in a CD. Uh, the, the thing is, like, I invited all these people. Some are trios, others are duos, singers, guitarists, uh, saxophone players, drummers, whatever. So this CD is there. Uh, if you want to get one, you get a kind of uh, uh, a little flavor of the new what's being doing uh, doing uh, people are doing on, on jazz. Of course, because we had no time to rehearse, we play mostly standards. We don't play original compositions because we had no time. Because this concert is on Sundays, and they come from Lisbon, from whatever, and they are like coming. Hello, are you doing? Ah, do you know this tune? You know, it's, okay. it's like jazz jazz approach. So it's, we play standards, you know that tune? Okay, you know how it, how, how it ends, or how it starts, okay, let's try, and then the audience come. So we are on stage and ready to play. So the, we played standards, so we played easy for us, things we know, and, uh, but anyway, it's a, it's a, a, a nice uh, 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 show of what the people playing in, Port in Portugal now, not all of them, I'm finishing the second CD because this started in 2000. So I have two more concerts left for the second CD, which will be out probably in November this year. I don't know. Let's see. So the, I didn't invite, I couldn't invite everybody because there's a lot of young people in Portugal uh, last year's playing very well and more and more to come. It's, it never stops. <laughs> my, only, my only concern is where is the work for all these people? <laughs> there is no work for all these people. So that's the, that's, Something that maybe in some years will happen in Macau. <laughs> I don't know. But in Portugal, it's happen happening already. So this is the first thing. So if you want to buy the CD, it's there. Uh, I would like to, you to enjoy this uh, work of mine, if you, if you want. So now I'm talking about the German composer. That's the second part. So the German composer, his name is famous. It's Kurt Weil. Kurt Weil is a classical composer that uh, wrote a lot of... Uh, uh, theater, theater, uh, theater play, music for theater play in Germany during the beginning of, of the 20s, on the 30s. And uh, the, one of the most famous works he, he, he made in, while in Germany <coughs> was uh, the Three Penny Opera, which uh, is a theater a kind of light opera. Bel canto people, how is it called this type of thing? Yeah. Operetta, okay. So it's, it's kind of a, a light opera, so special for a, a theater play. So from this, uh, from this uh, Three Penny Opera, there are some songs that they will play one uh, from the 20s. 
very well known. They, w w everybody knows these songs. Okay, from the, then, what was the problem about this? Mr. Kurt Weil was a, a Jewish German. So m Mr. Adolf Hitler was in power in, in 36? Oh, 33, I guess. 33, okay. So he, he had a big problem. So Mr. Uh, Kurt Weil, together with thousands of, of Jewish people, top scientists, uh, whatever, artists and normal people, they tried to get, get uh, out of, of their country, Germany. So Mr. Mr. Kurt Weil went to Paris, he worked in Paris for a couple of, of years. Uh, he wrote some operas or for theater plays, some operettas in Paris, in French, with some French lyricists. And then finally, he went to the United States, where he arrived in 38, 39. So he didn't know that the war was starting in two years. And, uh, no, that year, in 39. Okay, but uh, for the United States. So he arrived to the United States together with his, his best friend, which was his lyricist in Germany, Mr. Bertolt Brecht, which wrote a lot of things, theater plays, and was his lyricist. They worked together. These guys, one was very communist, Mr. Brecht, and Kurt Weil was kind of socialist moderate. So they went for the United States, and when they get to the United States with the American dream, they split, of course. The communists went for California to write theater plays, and Mr. Kurt Weil established in New York, where he went to, to, to work, Broadway. That year, in 39, George Gershwin died, very young, 40, 40 years old, died with some, I have some colleagues, musicians, amateur, that are doctors in medicine, they told me that was a bad diagnostic. Okay, so he died. 40 years old, he had some, some, some kind of stroke, but was totally, at the time, with the, the, the means they had at the time, that was totally possible to, to remediate. But uh, there, there was a bad diagnostic or something like this. It's not, I'm not a doctor, but <laughs> a lot of doctors play jazz. I don't know why. It's most, the, the, professional, the profession with most jazz musicians, amateur. Okay, that's at least in Portugal. That's something for, for doing a case study. Anyway, uh, what happened? Gershwin, the famous American composer, Rhapsod in Blue, died very young. And his brother, Ira Gershwin, had no partner to write his lyrics for the songs. So Mr. Kurt Weil was so lucky that got together with Ira Gershwin. And the, his first uh, fam famous Broadway play was in 1941 and it's called The Lady in the Dark. Okay, it's a, a love story, of course, and with the lyrics of Ira Gershwin and the music of the German composer that because of the things that were happening in, in Europe, like many others, but this is one of the most famous, was writing music for a theater play. And what lucky were the Americans because they got some of the best standards they ever had. So these people, they will play three songs from the, the Lady in the Dark uh, theater play, 1941. So the first one is Speak Low. The second one, well, I'll introduce each song. First one is Speak Low, right? Us. Let's go, Speak Low from the Lady in the Dark.
ship. <laughs> okay, so this was Speak Low. Of course, uh, the jazz musicians after this, uh, after the, the 40s, start to play these songs. Uh, the, what we are playing are jazz arrangements of these songs. This song was a, a love song, was much slower. There is a video, a video, a, re a recording audio in, on YouTube of Mr. Kurt Weil singing this song. He sings like, speak low, da -do -da -di. Okay, but these are jazz arrangements and this is the way that musicians nowadays play this, when it's instrumental, because with lyrics should be slow again, of course, otherwise it doesn't make any sense. So this is the jazz arrangements. So the next song from the same uh, theater play is called My Ship. This one is slow because people play this one slow. It's a beautiful ballad from Mr. Kurt Weil, My Ship. <clears throat>
Ok, funciona. Funciona. Ok, it works. It's good, good material. So, uh, we have two tunes left. The next one is from the same music, uh, theater play. It's called This is New. Also very popular among, among the jazz musicians. Uh, uh, recorded by famous American uh, singers, Julie Andrews, <laughs> English, but living in the United States. Okay, it's a kind of, it's a, a, a beautiful song. Of course, not, this is a jazz arrangement. So it's slower and with a slight different chords. But this is the way jazz musicians took this song without lyrics and play instrumental. So this is new. I was merely existing. This is new. Love. This is a love song. <laughs> so the lady in the dark was very sad and suddenly she found a love. And so this song is this is new. <laughs> Something new.
Thank you very much. This is our last song, and we, we go back to the 20s. We'll try to play the song as it was probably played in the, in the 20s. And this is probably one of the most well-known songs written by Kurt Weill. It's, called, it's from the operetta called uh, uh, <coughs> Three Penny Opera, which is the story of a, a gangster. And the, and the gangster is a story. I, I was lucky when, many years ago. Uh, I was living in Barcelona, and some bass player from Madrid had to go somewhere else, and they, they were playing in a teatro, teatro Reina Cristina. In Madrid, they were playing the Three Penny Opera, and the guy said, ah, you wanna, I have to go for a tour or something. Can you, can you take my, my place? And I was playing this Three Penny Opera from the bass seat in these old theaters, you see the actors over there. We are in the hall, which is a, a great sensation. And I was lucky enough to be playing this Three Penny Opera and seeing the actors, what they said. Of course, they were talking in Spanish. But uh, so this, this song is uh, dedicated. Every time the bad guy from the, the, this Three Penny Opera appears and he sings this, he's, the bad guy calls, calls, his name is Mac. And of course, this is Mac the Knife, the guy with the knife. Mac the Knife.
I'm Marsley, the representative of the Macau Jazz Promotion Association. Uh, I come out to celebrate this a seventh anniversary of the Hui Kunya Foundation with music. And I want to tell you that this is also the consecutive sixth year of this uh, precious partnership. So, uh, of course, due to this precious platform that gives us regular uh, performance for local musicians, which is very important because you, you can see that this is live music, they improvise. No matter they play good or not, we play good or not, this is very important. So every April is a, a, the month of joy because it's always the university uh, anniversary of the foundation we have there from mm -hmm. Portugal. But this is the only one month of the That's year. The other 11 years we we rely on this platform. This is very important. So may I introduce you the members of the band Alfie on piano. Yeah. <laughs> Carmen on alto saxophone. <laughs> Alex on tenor saxophone. <laughs> Yassin on guitar. <laughs> Thomas on bass. <laughs> Tim on drums. <laughs> Two more guitarists. Alex on guitar. Another guitarist, Johnny on guitar. 
We especially like to thank uh, Dr. Tubao here with us and Dr. Kunya here also. So do you want to see Say play? No one. No. Bye bye. Come on, come on. It's too late. Yeah, it's getting late. But getting do you want late. one more? Uh, yes. So we have Say Eduardo on piano. Yeah, but come. <laughs> After, after our fight, uh, what, what could I play? Man, come on. Don't embar embar embarrass me. So, we play a blues, right? Okay, let's go.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Next year, with me, more. <laughs> with them, with them every month, right? Every month? Yes, okay, great. So jazz is in good hands. Thank you very much.